Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Wherever you're coming from in the world, whatever time of day it is for you, I want to say a big hello and welcome back to the Memory Coach Podcast. Now, today I have a little daily sort of tip when it comes to remembering information. I was having a chat to my accountability partner, Peter, on Tuesday night, and he was saying how he was having a lot of issues when it comes to remembering information in day-to-day moments, not forgetting thoughts, and then also getting distracted with multitasking and forgetting what the original conversation was. So I figured it's a good talking point to create a little bit of a podcast episode for you. So on that note, let's get into it, shall we? The first thing we want to do, if you possibly can, and ideally, is to stop trying to multitask. Because multitasking isn't actually a thing. The brain is only capable of focusing on one thing at one time. If you're trying to do too many things, your brain's going to get distracted. It's going to lose the quality of each and every task as well. So if you can possibly eliminate multitasking, do it as soon as possible. However, if this isn't actually possible for you in your day-to-day life, maybe you've got a lot of things going on, then I'm going to give you a few tips to be able to remember your thoughts so that you can remember what you need to do later, the conversations that you're in and all those sort of things. So the first thing we wanna do is let's say that you're in a conversation. Now your phone goes off, you get distracted, you wanna check the message because you can't focus on the conversation until you answer that question of what is that message? So instead of jumping out of the conversation and straight into the message, what I want you to do is start creating the habit Remember, memory is a habit. Start creating the habit of creating a little cue of the conversation that you can come back to. So let's say that you were talking about, uh, let's just say cryptocurrency or something, whatever you're into. And the last talk was about Ethereum in the, co- in the conversation. Now, Ether, Ethereum, you wanna start to create a bit of a recognizable cue that you can turn into a picture. Okay, so the more deliberate we are about creating these cues, the easier it is to remember. So Ethereum sounds like ether, and for me, ether just looks like space in my head. So I can imagine seeing space, okay? And as I'm creating that picture, I wanna place it somewhere where I can find it afterwards in the conversation. So let's say that you're at a, a table. Well, imagine creating a space, a picture of space, like an astronaut or something like that on the table, so that you can think about it after you check your message and come back to see the space, the table, the ethereal, the ethereum, all those things. And now you've got a picture to actually come back to. So that's one way to use a a makeshift memory palace or location to be able to remember what you're talking about. Another thing, let's say that you're driving and you think about something that's really important and you wanna remember it for later. Well, instead of just saying that's important in my head, that's going to disappear. So instead, what we wanna do is connect it somehow. Because remember, memory is association. The more associations we can create, the easier it is to remember it later. So let's say that you remember you need to speak to a client or you need to, I'm not sure what you need to do during the day, but let's just go and speak to a client. Well, when you're thinking, create an association in that moment. So let's say that you're driving and you've gotta speak to the client. So interact those two things. Let's say you're driving and you drive over the client. (laughs) And that is a lot harder to forget because memory isn't about just trying to remember information. Your brain doesn't remember stuff just because you think it's important. It remembers stuff when you make it hard to forget. So in this picture of running over your client, actually make it really visual, make it really engage your senses, actually feel the car going over the person, right? And we, I'm making it really intense because the more emotion you can create, the easier it is to remember later, okay? So don't be afraid of your imagination when you're creating these pictures. A lot of people struggle when it comes to intrusive thoughts or something, but all these intrusive thoughts are is just your imagination scouting potentials that could possibly happen and being prepared for it in the future. So when some emotion comes in, don't be afraid of that, okay? It is imagination, it's not real, and it can't hurt you, it can't hurt anybody else, unless you act on it, obviously. But those are a couple of ways to really quickly and easily create associations so you can remember your thoughts for later, and so you can jump in and out of conversations if you get distracted, okay? So let's go over it again. We wanna create a picture of the last thing we're talking about in the conversation before we actually check our phone or check our messages or whatever it is. And you can start to do this really, really quickly as soon as you start practicing and creating that habit. So whatever you're talking about, maybe you're talking about a cat. I'm I'm thinking about a cat because my cat is right in front of me right now. But if you're talking about the cat in the conversation, then imagine the cat 
on your lap so that when you take the phone call or when you take the message, you've now got a cat on your lap to come back to in, that, in your imagination. The other one, when you're driving or you're in the shower and you're having these thoughts and you're thinking, oh, I need to remember that for later, associate the place you're in with the thing you need to do next, okay? So if you're in the shower and you remember you need to send a report later, well, imagine the report in your hand getting wet by the shower so that now you have a visual image and an association and a memory connected to that next task that you need to do. So instead of thinking, this is important, I should remember it, make it difficult to forget. And that way, it's easy to pick it back up when you need to. So I hope that helps. Now, I want you to make sure that you apply one thing that you've learned from this podcast. Only focus on applying one thing a day because over time, that changes you completely within the period of a year. If you've read Atomic Habits, you know that you're 37.8% better if you make a 1% increase over the period of a year. So that is your mission is to create one thing, one habit, one new action that you can apply and implement today and watch your life start to change over time. If you found this helpful, please make sure to share it to somebody who might have a bit of an issue with keeping track of their thoughts, multitasking, getting distracted. And until next time, I'll see you all next time and peace out.